Islam and shall we be an everlasting joy. We return with some wonderful news. Nsra is close to being announced. The currency re-evaluation process is truly done. The global currency reset is nearly at hand. These developments are only the start of a process begun decades ago by our Earth allies. Besides the changes in government and finance, it is also the time when each of you can be set free from the grand morass that is global debt slavery. A series of important events and accompanying announcements are just the start of operations, which are to bring down the dark cabal and its numerous minions. Do not be in shock over what is to happen. Rejoice and know in your heart that an operation begins that is finally to set you free and re-establish your individual sovereignty. New government is to invite you in and ask your advice. Be prepared to accept all of this with grace and a firm belief in the light. We are to await the time when it is appropriate for you to end the cover-up and disclose our existence and benevolence. We are ready at that moment to address you and explain in detail about first contact. Our landings are to be the start of a time to ready you for the joy of full consciousness. This road to full consciousness is the very crux of our mission. During the past nearly 13 millennia we have watched over you and reported back to our home worlds about what is occurring here. The Dark Cabal, with the assistance of its Anunnaki overlords, came very close to moving you into a permanent state of servitude. This heinous operation came to an inglorious end when the Anchera Continuum agreed to peace and asked that the ancient prophecies of Archangel Michael be fulfilled. This was done, and the Anunnaki left to the dark side and became our allies. The last nearly 20 years have been about watching the Dark's minions prove unable to discover a means to alter the inevitable. We currently stand at a great precipice. A victory by the light is at hand. Our Earth allies are ready to push the dark from power and put into effect new governmental and financial systems which are to bring prosperity and freedom to your surface reality. These events are but a precursor to the final steps needed to finish your path to full consciousness. Full consciousness is a natural state of humanity. You were temporarily pulled from this state of grace in ancient Atlantis. Atlantis was a land filled with odd dichotomies. It was a land that the dark minions of your recent past tried to contact and save on numerous occasions. But this task was doomed from the outset. Despite this and other failures, the dark minions remain resolute. It is strange to see such determination wasted on these silly attempts to alter history. Rather, they need to aid their people and lead this realm toward peace and prosperity. We have asked them previously to do so. Their collective reply is that this concept is unacceptable. So now, these dark ones are to be exposed and suffer the consequences of their actions. Our Earth allies are ready to begin mass arrests and put into power governance that is to try these dark ones and create new financial instruments to bring their long rule to a most timely demise. These new governments are to end the UFO cover-up and permit us to address you directly. Thus, the present time is one of waiting for the final steps which are to put into power governance that can announce to all that we exist. The moment that this occurs you have begun a move away from limited consciousness and toward full consciousness. You have among you many of full spirit who deeply wished to forge a new reality. Long ago, these beings and their associates started a campaign to bring this realm fully into the light. The first elements were a series of ancient core families who gave themselves to divine service. The Ascended Masters and those in Agartha aid them. Hence, the dark earliest disclaimers are found to relate to these sacred groups. The mere thought that the earth is hollow or that there is a divine sanctuary there is forcefully disputed. 
another leg of this denial concerns us. Together, we are seen as a force with an odd agenda. This agenda is to be altered and made to appear undesirable. These manipulations are now to be seen for what they truly are, outright lies and misrepresentations. The truth is to set you free. Namaste. We are your ascended masters. We come with great news as well. Our Agarthan supporters and our sacred secret associates are ready to start a series of events which are to lead to triumph for the light. Heaven blesses us with supporters who have worked tirelessly to create a funding network, the basis for a new financial system, reworked global currencies and most of all, a global common law network. This has happened only because of their great dedication to the light. We are told that these various networks are now interlocked and ready to transform this dark and distorted reality. Long ago, Heaven decreed that a special time was to come. Before this occurred, there were to be avatars to explain these prophecies to all who would listen. We came in the name of Heaven and with the divine messages given by these great beings of light. Our task now is to take these messages and together manifest them. Humanity is to receive these great gifts and fulfill the desires of Heaven. Heaven is presently rolling out a divine network of redemption for this reality. She has brought your ancestors from afar, and soon your new governance is to announce their presence. In addition, you have your cousins from Agartha among you. They have provided a sanctuary and, when needed, have come among you to aid us in blessing and clearing the way for the light. Our duties are to care for you and set up a means for the light to regain this reality and return you to your former selves. These tasks have taken millennia, and at this time, a grand heavenly dispensation allows for the magnificent reality that is to be created for you. Blessed be heaven and those who have so unselfishly worked to make all this possible. A new day of glorious light is to shine upon you and begin the time of healing and forgiveness. You are to bask in this healing light and become free. For your part, this path to freedom and forgiveness requires a diligent focus and a willingness to face your greatest pains and heartaches head-on. To assist you, heaven established the need for spiritual and physical mentors. We watch over you daily and see how you need to use your own inner abilities to conquer your inner demons. Such a positive effort is something to be deeply concerned about. In your growing joy, you are to finally vanquish those things that still deeply hurt you. Transforming this hurt is but the first gracious move toward a new and sacred life. All of us have learned, as Ascended Masters, how difficult this process really is. Yet the healing, which it brings is truly divine. This is just a preview of what the physical and spiritual masters are to give you. You are then, after certain inner work, to be primed for the wonders that come to you in your special crystal chambers. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Today, we carry them with our messages about what is occurring around you. Your reality is shifting and readying itself to be transformed by the light. During this process you are to meet your spiritual and space families. You are also to be changed into fully conscious beings of light. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Salamat Gajan. Salamat Syrian for B1. And be enjoy.